Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for you to episodes 27 and 28 of Twin Star Extra. So, Scott, and get started with episode 27 and 3, 2, 1, go. Oh my god, you don't even want to know how my day was. Like, I, I, I've, I've been sitting here for like what three hours now waiting for a file. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Has it been like a month or something since I left? <laughs> well, I mean, because she could be texting just like this, so it's not really that hard. No. But I am so proud of her. Like, honestly, Mina has come so far. Like, that ass. Like, this chick. Oh, thank you, Penny. Oh, she looks so pretty. Oh. <laughs> like, she's just, uh. If you would have told me. That's a little too bright on my face. At the beginning of this show. That by the time we would have gotten to here. That Mina would have been. Possibly my second fake character. I probably would have looked at you like you was nuts. Because like in the beginning, I really liked her a lot. I was just assuming that we were never going to see her do like anything else again. But no. I'm happy for her. Like, oh. It's going to take a while for this up and in the ground. I, mean, I, I like it. It's different. It's pretty. I don't know about the song yet. Like, get, get about two, three weeks. I might like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What the fuck is that? Oh, okay. <laughs> The one time when you think, oh, hey, we need the twin stars, and you know, hey, mm -mm, can't have them because you know they've been gone for what, like I said, about a month. Mm, damn, Ida. I can't close this. Oh my god. Somebody's in the bath. <laughs> Thank you. 
No offense, it's a nice way to say hello. <laughs> My horny ass. In a way, she's still kind of a newbie, though. What time is it? 6.25. I got less than three hours before this thing possibly goes to the house. Hmm? <laughs> right? I know that feeling. Yeah, at least she's trying. That's a good question, though. I mean, mainly to, like, protect yourself and others. <laughs> no, you basically got your ass handed to you, but it's okay.
he still is very suspicious to me. Like, he just... I don't know. I mean, the last time I've had some really weird feelings about a character like this, you know, they were the bad guy. Okay, that makes sense. You're basically doing the same thing that her father did when he taught you. Okay. I mean, I would say like reverse psychology or something, but not really. Just... God damn it, you know, <clears throat> I should do a broke little, but I honestly want these two to get together. It, it's just something about them together, even in only the 13 minutes we've been in this episode. It just works. It makes sense, but who knows? I mean, mm-hmm. That could be my Amazon package. Why is it that everybody in this show looked so fucking cute when they were younger and then everybody was like, yeah, we're gonna make them hot times like a thousand. I Jeez. Every freaking guy in this show. <laughs> I mean, how you even made me attracted to a guy who's got bags under his eyes, and that's fucking nuts. I, I thought I, you know. Yeah, I'm trash. <laughs> this is coming from the same person who fell in love with a man with a gun for a head. Pure trash. <laughs>
Hmm? Is she... Oh, God. She had to. But that's her friend. She has to get her. See, number one, in a way, it is dangerous to go by yourself. Why didn't you bring at least someone else with you? That's not smart, but you know, I... She was like, I'm going in head first. gonna make it out Dead on great. <sighs> no, it's not, but it's the right thing to do. on damn it like you can't keep doing this to me with shows like <laughs> what if they don't get together in the end <laughs> I'm about to be like a fucking hopeful bitch right now like oh Well, you know, why didn't we start with this first? Honestly, I mean, the fight would have been over in like three seconds, but no. <laughs> I get it, you know, we had to test Mida.
I can't. <laughs> it's too much. That was so fucking cute. I mean, honestly, an episode focusing on, like, the most underrated girl of this series and possibly her love interest. That was sweet. Like, I can't. Stop it. It was, I mean... I, what I do like about the the first half of this episode, that could be, um, let me check real quick. That could be Amazon. Nope, that was UPS, but that could still be them, so I'll check it after. What I liked about this episode was the fact of they really had Mida shine a lot, and I enjoyed that for what it was. One, two, <laughs> Shimon, <laughs> he's very interesting. Their chemistry is really good. I mean, like, dead ass. So I'm really hoping that by the end of this damn series, they get together. I know he, like, freaking Maida cannot get with Rokuro because of, you know, reasons and ish like that. Once it's set in stone on who the Twin Stars actress is going to be, that's it. Like, no one can come in between them, no matter what. It's almost like you know when a freaking manga artist or just anyone in general an Arthur for a series decides to write a series and be like hey I'm gonna go ahead and make x y and z character be together and you're like no but I like this character together and it's just like mm. <laughs> of course Well, because it almost seems like that's where she was born. But who even knows? That's the biggest thing. If, um, Sai initially, I'm guessing my mom got the package, um, <laughs> if we're gonna get the answers that we need, oh my god, I'm sorry, but I, I don't know, because something tells me it might be half-assed, but at the same time, because of the fact is, yes, these three are currently on their way to Kyoto right now, when they're going to possibly get their answers, something tells me that the answers that they're looking for and that I as an audience member of this series is looking for as well it's not going to be what we truly want or what we're going to want to hear because something tells me we're gonna go straight from good to bad to worse that you know in the end this child might have to die and I think if we get to that situation that's really gonna be effed up because I really love this child and she's just adorable and I don't want anything to happen to her so Fingers crossed, nothing happens in episode 28. <laughs> like that as we're going to pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 28. Okay, episode 28 and 3, 2, 1, go. I don't know why, but I'm kind of... See, the things that I'm craving right now, mac and cheese, McDonald's french fries. Like, I have been craving McDonald's french fries for like the last few days. Like, oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs>
But don't you need the twins or exorcists for that or no? He, I thought that was a girl. Like, I, I, and I'm not joking, but like, it's really, he definitely looked like a she, but you know, I mean, hey, whatever floats your boat. I just want to know what the, what the fuck is going to happen in this episode. What the hell are we going to learn about Sison? Because, like I said, precious child. Precious baby girl that I love so freaking much. And I just want her to be protected and just to be with her family that's all and that's real quiddle and benny old that's it uh, unless like her actual family makes an appearance in this show which it seems like signs are pointing to yes so we might see others just like her because she has this special power that only she has so there has to possibly be others just like her i'm not 100 percent sure you know but who knows? Oh god. Yeah. Oh, she's so precious. Oh my god, stop fighting! <laughs> Did you lose signal? No. <laughs> you hung up. <laughs>
No. Well, go, of course. What else can you do? I mean, you go to Kyoto next week and we learn about Sai next week. I mean, damn. This is too important. I mean, yes, learning about Sai is also important as well. But this situation? <laughs> Maybe that means you're starting to like them. <laughs> We really gonna talk about that now. Definitely. You honestly look like Maximilian Pegasus from Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean, mm -hmm. I ain't mad at it, but okay. See, I, I don't know, you guys are a little too confident about that, because like, what if he does something that you're not particularly ready for and I feel like it's gonna happen you just he's just giving you the upper hand maybe that sigh Every time this child gets out. Mm -mm. That's an interesting gun. See, he seems like a type who would be 
Oh my god, what's the word? Someone who likes to go just mm, yeah, hunting. Mm -hmm. Likes to have pious possessions on their wall. But like, look at what I caught. Ish. I don't know. Except it wouldn't be animals, it'd be humans or some shit. Didn't even face him, did it? Look at him! Cause he ain't. This is fucked up. Like, are you serious? Is he just too powerful for that? Okay. Well, something new then. Well, yeah, because they just can still. You really shouldn't have done that. Oh! Yeah, but that might not even work on him as well. Told you. You guys really thought that was going to work on him. Oh, fuck no. Mm -mm. They look like the things at the beginning of this episode. So she's connected to that tree. Hi. 
my god, what's the guy? She's so fucking precious. The guy with the red hair, right? Because, of course, they ain't seen on because she wants to live with Mido right now, so. Mm. Oh, his eyes are pretty. Wait, what? I'm getting chills, and you know what? I like that. He just seems like he, um, look how long his freaking <laughs> his hair. Oh my god! <laughs> Excuse me. Got a pretty voice, though. Yeah. I mean, and he did it without breaking a sweat. So, you know, um, be like him. There's no way in hell. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, um... Uh, time out. White flag on the play. 
Are you kidding me? He just says clothes. Can't say no to that face. She's so fucking precious. No. I don't know. Still got a weird feeling. I can't shake it and I don't know why. Something about this just seems off. Maybe. I could be wrong. But okay, so Tenma, he seems very interesting. The fact is that he's the fucking strongest out of the 12. Are you kidding me? Like, look look at him. He, he doesn't look the strongest. But see, that's the same thing I said about Gojo. Because I was like, yeah, I look at Gojo and I'm like, really? I didn't see it, and then episode 7 came out, which is, like, my favorite episode ever on the damn show, but, like, oh my god. But, okay, going back to what I said at the end of the last episode before I got interrupted by my UPS slash Amazon delivery coming, um, whatever answers we get, once again, it's gonna go from good to bad to worse. You can already tell now that Sai has a connection with the tree that we saw at the beginning of this episode. What that entails is I have no freaking clue. And it seems like Temma knows something, but he's not going to say anything until next week, which kind of pisses me off because it's like, if you know something, be smart and, and just tell them. Don't be like, you gotta wait till next week. I, I, you know, I love when shows do that, but at the same time, I'm like, no, I want to know right now. Not tomorrow, not three days from now, not a week from now, not a month from now, right the fuck now. Like, just give it to me right now. That's all I need. But no, we gotta wait till next week. I literally said at the beginning of this, this child might have to die. And we about to go into the point where this child has to die. I don't understand why y'all do this. Why do y'all make me get attached to a character just to kill them off several episodes later? This is some bullshit. Like, oh my god. Like, y'all can't do this because she's so precious. This is like freaking March from To You Eternity all over again. Between March and the Nameless Boy. Hell, even more of the Nameless Boy than March because March is still alive in that show. But with the Nameless Boy in this series, you sit here thinking, oh, right, we about to have a really nice story about a boy and his dog and learning the adventures about the live or something, whatever. And, it's, and he dies. By the end of the first episode. And that was not cool. This ain't cool either. I mean, seriously, y'all cannot keep doing this to me. I, oh God, I thought, you know, when, when Akudama Drive aired, I cried bad at that show. I cried so much during that damn show, especially towards the ending, because the ending is like probably the most I've cried towards the like last few minutes and everything and plus we're getting that secret ending next month so yay but i mean oh and then fruits basket and everything else in between but i feel like next week i'm about to cry even worse like uh what the fuck what the fuck are you doing joe like dead ass what are you doing what you can't kill this child like please she's so freaking precious and she means the world to me just as much as any other kid in an anime because they're all fucking precious and i love them so freaking much and you want to protect them but like you can't keep killing these kids like it, it's not fair that she's just a baby like are you serious like this isn't fair like th there's got to be a way a loophole something where she can still survive and she can live on 
with Benny and Mokoro because I think that's all she wants and I think that's what Benny and Mokoro also want as well. But if she comes to the point where she makes a really big big girl or adult decision and saying that I understand why I need to be sacrificed and I accept it, then you know I'm going to be crying next week too. No matter what the fuck happens next week, I'm going to be just <laughs> a mess like always. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episodes 27 and 28 of Twin Star Exorcist. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes 29 and 30. Bye, guys.